are going to learn about undoing, specifically undoing a bank reconciliation. Now the exercise we're gonna follow along with is over here on the right-hand side, and this is pulled from our Advanced Level Pro Advisor Certification course. If you would like more information about that course after we go through the exercise, be sure to click on the link below in the description. But let's go ahead and read through our scenario. Now, unfortunately, you cannot undo a bank reconciliation in the sample company. This is where we usually do all of our exercises. So we um, cannot do it in the sample company, but if you have been reconciling your own accounts in QBOA, you can see it there. So let's see how you would do it. I have over here a, a QBOA account, and this is what we're going to go through um, in this exercise we're going to practice in here. Now, if you are in your own QBOA account um, and you you don't want to actually undo reconciliations. You can just follow along with the steps um, until we get to the very end of it. But let's see how to get started with it. First, you want to click on Account and Tools and then select Reconcile. Account and Tools is right here at the top. Click on that and then under Quick Links, select uh, Reconcile. Now you want to ensure the reconciled account you want to undo is selected in the account field that is right here. If you have something else, it's not going to show up in the history by account, which is the next thing we want to click on right here. So go ahead and select that. And here I only have one reconciliation, but if there were multiple, they would show here on a list. So this is the one that I want to undo. And to do so, I want to click on the down arrow next to view report in the action column and then select undo. So the down arrow is right here. I would click on this and then select undo. So once I do that, I will get this pop-up warning, um, just asking if I'm really sure I want to undo the reconciliation and giving more detail about what that means if I actually do, just giving it all right here. I want to move forward with it, so I'm going to go ahead and click on yes. And then you're gonna get one final pop-up warning asking if you're sure you want to undo. I am, for the purposes of this exercise, going to say yes. If you are doing this in your own QBOA account and you don't actually want to undo it at this point, you can go ahead and click on go back. But I'm gonna click on undo to see what that looks like. Here it is saying that it has been successfully undone, so I'm going to click on the green OK button. And as soon as I do that, you will notice here that there is no longer that reconciliation showing up on that list of history, um, showing that it has been reconciled. So this and all of the other reconciliations after that will be undone. Let's say that you do a reconciliation at the end of every month. Last month, you wanted to undo it even though you already did this month. If you undo the one from last month, it is going to undo the one for this uh, particular month as well. But the good news is that you can always go back and reconcile them again as necessary. But that's it. That is how you would undo a bank reconciliation. Now, if you like this exercise and you want to do more like it, or if you would like more information about that advanced level pro advisor certification course, be sure to click on the link below in the description and I will see you in the next video.